Hello everyone, welcome to Nameables. Have you ever added vinegar to baking soda? Probably. Be it for a science experiment or a simple DIY cleaner for the home, we all know that combining these substances causes a chemical reaction leaving behind salt, water and carbon dioxide. But have you ever wondered how this happens? Do all substances just go from one state to immediately the next? Dr. Ahmad Zawail here, the Egyptian chemist, has the best answer. He was born in 1946 in Damanhur, Egypt, only 60 kilometers away from Alexandria, the ancient city of knowledge, and lived with his parents and three sisters in the city of the Souk. Even in early childhood, Ahmed had a strong inclination towards the physical sciences, with a mind that kept on asking why and how. He despised learning off by heart and simply taking things at face value. He even conducted experiments in his own bedroom once, constructing an apparatus out of his mom's oil burner that was used for making Arabic coffee, and a few glass tubes in order to see how wood transformed into burning gas and liquid substance. A remarkable experiment, no doubt, not only because of the scientific aspect, but also because he could have burnt down the entire house. Needless to say, Ahmed went on to ace his academic career, and after receiving his master's degree in Egypt, he moved to the US to complete his PhD and then his postdoctoral research at the University of California, Berkeley, and ended up being appointed as the director of California Institute of Technology. It was here that he received the Chemistry Nobel Prize in 1999 for his contribution to femtochemistry, the study of chemical reactions on an extremely short time scale like femtosecond, which is one millionth of one billionth of a second. It might help to imagine the whale's work as taking screenshots during a reaction to capture all of the different molecules in transition phases during a chemical reaction. He's known today as the father of femtochemistry for his ingenious findings. So, why don't you look closer the next time you see a chemical reaction? Who knows, it might be a win Nobel Prize for you, right? So, till next time, take care. <laughs>